In this demonstration, we'll take a look at rules with Prisma Access. Rules with Prisma Access are controlled from within Panorama. Here, I'm on the Policies tab, and I'm in the Remote Network Device Group. This is a set of rules that would apply to security processing nodes that are in the Remote Network Device Group. I right now have a set of four rules. There are also two other rules that would be applied to this security processing node, the default rules as well. So there would actually be a total of six rules that would be present on my security processing node. Prisma Access uses first fit rule scanning. The first rule that you come to in my set of six, where all of the criteria across here are met, it would then take the action in the action column to allow or deny this traffic. As soon as I've hit a rule where all of my criteria here are satisfied, it would not process further through the rules and it would apply the action in this column. There are also a lot of things on this screen that you can't see right now that become available if you roll your mouse into the correct place. For instance, to the right of these names, if I roll my mouse there, a pull-down menu comes up where I can filter on this name go over to the log viewer, where I can move this rule to a specific position, where I can copy the UUID, Palo Alto's new unique identifier for rules and rule sets, or use the global find to find every place where block BitTorrent exists within the panorama environment. If I roll my mouse up here to these labels, an arrow comes down. This arrow allows me to turn columns on and off. Palo Alto has an awful lot of information that they're displaying in log files and in rules. And if you go up to the column headings, it will then bring up this menu where you can turn columns on and off. Some of these you may not be using. Others you may want to include to give yourself more information or depending on the size screen and resolution that you have. And another possibility here is the option to adjust columns that will auto-size the width of all my columns so that I can see that information. Order is important in Palo Alto rules. It does first fit rule scanning. It goes from the top to the bottom. As soon as you get to a rule where all of the criteria are met, no further scanning occurs, these are all just criteria. This is the action that will be taken to either allow or deny that traffic. I also want to reiterate that there aren't four rules that are going to be put on the remote network device group security processing nodes. There are six. These four, and then at the end of this list, would be Palo Alto's default rules as well the intrazone default rule and the interzone default rule. The intrazone default rule allows traffic within the same zone and does not log it. And the interzone default rule, where traffic from one zone to another is also is going to be denied and would also not be logged. Going back to my security rules here. Again, there are a total of six rules that would exist on my remote network security processing nodes.